Hello everybody, my name is Chris Roth and I'm here with fellow Visio MVP Scott Helmers and he's here to talk about business process diagramming and related systems improvement technology that you can do with Visio 2010. Now Scott, Microsoft's invested a lot in this area, what can you tell us about it? I'm going to start, Chris, by talking about something called the Business Process Modeling Notation, or BPMN. BPMN is an emerging standard for creating process diagrams, and Visio 2010 implements the 1.2 version of that standard. If we look at Visio on the new page in the flowchart group, I'm going to click there, we find the BPMN template. Now, rather than start a new diagram, I've got one in progress on this page, so let's take a look at the diagram, but before we do that, Let's take a look at the stencils that are included in this template. BPMN shapes are organized into four categories. So we have a stencil full of event shapes, start, intermediate, and end shapes. We have activities or tasks. We have gateways, which are typically either decisions or the split and join points as work flows through a process in an organization. And then we have connecting objects. These are the arrows that connect the other shapes in a BPMN diagram. Now, as you can already tell from just that quick look at those stencils, there are a lot of shapes in BPMN, and there are many variations on each of those shapes. So fortunately, what we have is a stencil that collects just the basic ones, the ones that you're going to use for probably most of the diagrams you create with BPMN. And those are the, the ones, in fact, that I've used to create this very simple process to describe how a company engraves products and ships them to customers. To demonstrate that these BPMN shapes have a fair amount of intelligence built in, I'm going to click on the check inventory shape. Now, I happen to know that in this particular company, this is a process done by a person. So I'm going to right click on the shape, and these shapes provide a way for me to tell that this is done by a user. So I select user from the menu, and notice a little person icon appears in the upper right corner of that shape. Similarly, I know that as we offer a customer an alternate product if we don't have the one that they originally selected, I know that this is a loop and we can see a comment to that effect, continue until customer accepts or rejects alternate product. To indicate that visually, I right click, slide up to loop, and select standard. And now in the bottom center of that shape, I see a little arrow that visually indicates that this is indeed a loop. Now, one of the other really nice features in Visio 2010 that definitely applies in BPMN diagrams but can also be used in flowcharts and other types of process diagrams as well is the ability to create a sub-process. I'm going to do that with these two shapes that I've just selected on the page. Now, I happen to know that engraving the product and deciding whether to send it or hold it and what to do with it, th that's a more complex bit than just two steps shows on this page. Now that I've selected the two shapes that I'd like to expand into more detail, I go to the Process tab and click the Create Selection button. And you'll notice that Visio has replaced my two shapes with a single sub-process shape. I'm going to add a label to it. And notice when I hover over it also that there's now a hyperlink symbol attached to the cursor. So Visio has added a hyperlink. Let's see where it goes. Click, control click rather on that shape. And now if I shift click and click, zoom in, we see that the two shapes from the previous page were dropped here when Visio created the subprocess symbol. So now I have a page in which I can expand the definition of this part of the process. I think the process diagramming people are really going to love that because it looks quick in your demo, but that saves several, five or six steps you actually have to do manually to create a subprocess. Absolutely. Page. It's a great way to, to move shapes off to oh. another page and then be able to build upon them. Well, the BPMN diagrams look pretty good. Are there any other process related features in Visio 2010? There definitely are, Chris, and there are two other templates that I'd like to show you or mention to you. The first is in the business category and it's called a Six Sigma diagram. You might be familiar with that process improvement methodology. This is a diagram type that allows you to create business process improvement and quality improvement diagrams. Go back to the home button here and go into the flowchart category where we find the Microsoft SharePoint workflow template. And that's the one I'm going to focus some attention on. I want to show you a little bit more about how that works. What we're looking at is a text description of a SharePoint workflow. That's the way you've had to create SharePoint workflows in the past. It's a text editing function, and this happens to be a, a purchase order request spelled out in textual form. Well, the idea with Visio 2010 is to allow me to create a workflow definition graphically in Visio. So I start in Visio, 
Then I export that workflow definition to SharePoint Designer, where I make some changes and complete the definition. I can then execute the workflow. So we can actually go from a picture of a process to an executable workflow by moving from Visio into SharePoint. And it's even better than that because if you follow the lines, you can see that this is a 360 degree round trip. We can take the same or updated uh, version of the workflow definition from SharePoint and we can bring it back into and visualize it once again in Visio. So let's see how that works. I'm going to switch to a work in progress here. This happens to be a fairly simple diagram describing the process by which we check a document out, learn whether it needs to be updated based on the date. Is it older than six months? We update it. If not, we don't have to. And then in either case, we check the document back into the repository. I created this diagram using the stencils that you see on the left. There are a set of SharePoint workflow actions. There are workflow conditions and workflow terminators. Now, what I would do at this point then is to export this diagram to SharePoint workflow. I'm going to do that by clicking on the process tab and clicking the export button. At this point, I would go into SharePoint, I would add the additional information that's necessary, and I could execute the workflow. Let's say in the process of doing that, I realize that, you know, it would be useful to add one step. After updating the document, let's say I want to enhance the, the document history, so I want to add a couple of comments about the changes I made. I can do that in SharePoint Workflow Designer, and now back in Visio, let's import that modified workflow definition. Simply click the Import button, scroll down to find the modified version of this workflow, and now we see, after revising the document, we, de we do update the revision history and then check the document back in. So we've gone a round trip from Visio to SharePoint Designer and back. Well, that's pretty impressive. You've got BPMN diagrams, they look good, sub-processes, and round trip uh, process flow definition with yep. uh, SharePoint Workflow and Visio 2010. Very impressive indeed. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Chris.